Hello, I'm Anna with Blogate. In this quick video, I'll show you how to delete locally stored files of your backup that you created with Backup Buddy. It's a good idea to do a backup before you make any major changes to your site, like updating WordPress or your plugins, but those files start piling up locally. And because a complete backup includes everything, you're backing up your backup files too. All those old files start really bogging down everything. Plus, you're paying for hosting space, so you don't want to waste it on too many backup files. And, if you ever need to migrate your site, you'll want to cut down on them before that too. So, let me show you easy ways to get rid of the problem and keep your site running fast and smooth. I'm on a sandbox site I created for this video, and I'm in the Backup tab of Backup Buddy. This is where you can manually create a backup before doing an update to your site. Usually that will be a complete backup. As you can see, I already have one backup file that I created earlier. When I run the next one, that earlier backup file will be included too. So after a while, these things start taking up a lot of space, and it slows everything down, including how long it takes to do a backup. Now, this is a small site with just a couple of pages on it, so it's under 8 megabyte, but you get the point. When you create a new backup, you have the opportunity to download it and or send it to a remote destination. When I hover my mouse over the one I created previously, you'll see those options too. When you run a new backup, there will be two blue buttons at the top with some options for downloading and sending to a remote destination, but there's no way to delete those files. To do that, you'll need to log into your cPanel and find the files, so let's do that. I'm jumping over to a window where I've already logged into my cPanel, which is a brand name for a hosting control panel. Think of it like Kleenex, which is a brand name of a tissue. If you don't have cPanel, this may look a little different to you. Scroll down to the Files section and find the File Manager icon and click it. You'll see a few choices here. You can elect to go to the root folder of your site or you can go to the root of any site you have hosted here by clicking the drop down. I only have one, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose the document root for this site. And be sure to check the box to show hidden files as well. Now click the Go button. These are the files for your WordPress installation. And cPanel is a little picky about how you open folders, so do as I'm showing you here. Double click the folder icon for WP Content. And then double click the folder icon for Uploads. Then double click the folder icon for Backup Buddy Backups. There you'll see your locally stored zip files. Click once to highlight it. And if you have a bunch of them, click the first one, then hold down the Shift key, and click the last one. That will highlight the first and last files and all of the files in between. Then click the Delete icon at the top. It will ask if you're sure. Then click the Delete Files button. Now that takes care of all the old backup files. Let's get out of here and I'll show you how to keep new ones from piling up again. You can simply close the tab that you're in. Then scroll up and log out of your cPanel. Now I'm jumping back over to the site and going to the Settings sublink under Backup Buddy. Scroll down to the section for Local Archive Storage Limits. You'll want to set these numbers in accordance with your needs, and the numbers I'm going to suggest assume that you do not normally store your automated backups locally. You need to set those to off-site storage, like Amazon S3. Okay, the only time I have a locally stored backup is when I'm doing a manual backup before an upgrade. For that, I would set the maximum to store as 2 or 3. The reason why is because a local copy will be created during the auto backup schedule. Once that file finishes the transfer to the remote storage, it will be deleted. So I only need to keep 2, maybe 3 before overwrite, because that's about the limit of what I do prior to an update. I'm going to leave the maximum size set to zero, which is unlimited. I don't care about the size when I'm only storing two or three, but if you do set this, it will need to be in megabytes. When this limit is met, the oldest backup on file will be deleted to make room for the new file. And I'm going to set the maximum age to 60 days. That will give me more than enough time to ensure my site is running properly with its new updates, and I'm likely to forget to go back in and delete those backup files. So, this ensures that everything is cleaned up for me. You can set it to 30 days, or as few as you want. 
When you're finished with those settings, scroll down and click the Save General Settings button. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on deleting your backup files. Backup Buddy is a plugin I use and recommend to all of my clients. If you want to see how it measures up to other backup solutions, be sure to download my free report on how to backup your WordPress site with 14 backup and storage solutions. And be sure to visit the Blog A video library for more videos on WordPress, SEO, Genesis, and MailChimp. Plus, bonus videos on several popular plugins like Backup Buddy.